All right, if you've got an Infiniti QX80 and you have a no crank, no start situation, and you're trying to troubleshoot whether or not it's your IPDM module or your starter motor, uh, this is a quick how-to on how to do that. I have some other videos that um, are much longer in length explain these circuits, but this is going to be a quick one. So refer to my channel and those other videos if you want to learn more. But starting system, this box, this big box here, that's representing the IPDM module. That's your intelligent power distribution module. Um, basically, it's got two starter cell uh, relays in, built into it, and from this starter control, uh, relay it sends the signal out to your starter solenoid right and then your starter motor when it sends that signal that engages the relay which closes those contacts and the, and the starter motor cranks okay so if you want to know whether the starter motor maybe is um, getting the signal but not starting because it's bad or whether you want to know maybe this ipdm is bad and it never sent the signal that's what we're trying to figure out now Passenger side of the vehicle, right? Battery behind that is this compartment where the IPDM module is stored. You'll want to um, press in this tab and this tab to kind of pull it up out of its container. That you'll pull it up and then twist it in order to get it like I've got it shown here. But this is what an IPDM module looks like. Okay, I called my dealership and uh, I have a highly intermittent problem where the vehicle gives a no crank, no start. And it always happens when my wife's by herself and it freaks her out. If she keeps trying enough times, it always starts, but obviously you want it to just work right the first time. So called the dealer and I was thinking about replacing this module because there's a lot on the YouTube about these things going bad on older vehicles. This is a 2016 QX80. Uh, older vehicles have issues. $1,900. It's $21.22 dollars uh, after tax if I buy this from my dealer. So I'm not really wanting to Throw, swap one of these out unless I really need to. Easy to get to, right? Just unplug those connectors, swaps out in five minutes. But wow, 2000 bucks. I don't want to replace that if I don't have to. So I want to figure out why my sometimes my starter doesn't crank. Where is the starter on these vehicles? Well, it's right under there. Under the intake manifold is where they, on top of the engine is where they, the starter motor is located on these vehicles. So it's a bit of a job to get it out, but it's actually not as bad as it, as you might think. It's totally doable if you're used to doing your own wrench. Um, so on the APDM, this white connector right here, that's the connector that, uh, and that red wire right there at the end of my finger, that's what sends the signal to the starter solenoid. So I've got a test light jammed in, back probing that red wire. And the other end, of course, is hooked to the ground here. You can use a voltmeter if you got somebody to look at the gate, the voltmeter, and see the power. Now, on a voltmeter, you'd probably see about a 10 volt, you know, um, voltage, uh, uh, 10 volt signal on there, right? It's a 12 volt battery, but uh, with a voltage drop of cranking the engine, it'll be about 10 volts. Um, so anyway, I'm back probing that red wire. And I'm going to, so I can do this all by myself, right? I'm looking through the windshield at that, at that light. You see it there. So I am going to step on the brake, push the button, and we'll see if we start. Watch for the light to light up. Okay, so you saw it come on there for a moment while it was sending the signal to the starter. And yay, the engine started. That's great. We saw everything work the way it should. Now, this is a, I have gotten lucky um, and saw this situation uh, before I started this video where I was holding down the start button. I saw my light light up, but I had no crank. And as long as I kept my finger on the start button, I kept it there for a while, that light was still lit. It held with me as long as I was holding the button and the engine wasn't cranking. Uh, it's smart enough to know that when the engine starts, it lets go of that signal whether I let go of the button or not. But when it isn't cranking, it kept it there. I saw the light. So um, anyway, hope this video helps. Uh, if you've got that kind of a situation, that's how you figure out, is my IPDM given the signal and or is my um, 
you know, starter motor bad. In this case, I've obviously got a starter motor that's bad uh, since I saw it um, not work before. Hope that uh, helps you. Bye now.